What's up? Welcome back to the Metalhead Car Show. A little while ago, HUD unveiled the new O chassis. What they unveiled was this throwback, futuristic, future past sort of thing sedan. And I know it's a concept car, but it's kind of a very cool move for Honda. When Honda unveiled the 10th Gen Civic, one of its biggest complaints was it was too overstyled, it was too much, and people didn't love it. Which is why when they went to the 11th Gen, it was a lot more dialed back in styling and it kind of looks like a Volkswagen Jetta. So the fact that they're planning on doing something like this is very cool. Honda said they're going to be using the O chassis in a number of different cars, and I think that is super cool. The first reason being is, well, it's kind of a financially really smart thing to do, but the second one being, this is also going to be the new chassis for the new Honda NSX. Now, a sneak peek of the Honda NSX was unveiled about a year or two ago, but as of recently, they've shown up these new photos, and this is kind of the confirmation that the NSX is indeed coming back but it is gonna be on the new O chassis, which is gonna be shared with things like sedans and other cars. Now, yes, that does mean the new NSX is going to be an EV, but it also means something very cool. Honda's gonna be able to make new NSXs on the chassis, but along with making four-door sedans, people can go and use in a very easy way. And if the NSX doesn't sell super well, the sedan's gonna sell pretty well, and money made from the sedan will pay for the NSX a little bit. It's gonna be cheaper to produce all things said and done. Now, that's not a brand new move. People have been doing that forever. But what makes this kind of cool is the fact that since it doesn't have a gas powered engine, the front end doesn't need to be a certain shape to fit said engine. So they kind of just model the car over whatever they want, which also may be how Honda ends up bringing back the S2000, which is also teased a while ago. Honda wouldn't even be the first EV company to do this because, well, Tesla's been doing it for a while. Now, Tesla uses the same chassis for the Model 3 and the Model Y, along with the Model S and the Model X. It's a great way to offer something different whilst using the same chassis. Long-term saving money. But the problem with those cars is they are extremely dystopian, as when you have the options of a small sedan or a stretched out version of that small sedan, or the bigger sedan, or the stretched out version of the bigger sedan. Yeah, I know the Cybertruck's coming and maybe we'll get a new Roadster, who knows on that thing at this point. But looking back at Honda, they're planning on doing things like sedans and supercars on the exact same chassis, which, that's brilliant. And frankly, I think that's what we're going to be seeing from a lot of other companies going forward. It's going to be a way to cut costs, which a lot of companies are doing right now. That part's not too shocking. But also, whilst cutting costs, giving us, the consumer, something cool. Now, I'm not a huge supporter of EVs, but I do understand their place. I do think it's important we have them, but I don't think it's the right move for every single car to need to be EV. But, in regards of chassis sharing, Going EV is actually going to make it really easy for manufacturers to kind of get a lot of different body styles on the same chassis and even cut the price down on that for us, the consumer. So there's ups, there's downs to the whole thing, but it's interesting nonetheless. I wouldn't really want to see a new F-150 and a Mustang be put on the same chassis, but if it can work for Honda in this case, it'll be cool. Let's see. But anyway, I want to know, what do you think? Are you looking forward to some of the new products Honda's be making in the future? Or are you completely sick of seeing new EVs coming out and you really don't care? Let me know in the comments. Thank you all so much for watching. Like, subscribe if you enjoyed the view scene. I post on Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday, and I'll see you later.